Hi, how is everyone doing? I hope everyone is all as well with everyone. This content that you are about to view may be offensive if you are easily offended, then please do not watch. My name is Carmela Banks. Kanye West said he no longer supports Donald Trump because Donald Trump hid in a bunker. The hell is a bunker? Go ahead, Brother Ezra. You got me to take on news.com. Article L, right? Kanye West, I no longer support Trump after I learned he hid in bunker. What that got to do with supporting um, Donald Trump? What do Donald Trump have hiding in the bunker? I mean, what's that supposed what is what is that supposed to mean? Because see, let me tell you something. You niggas and you niggas out there. A bunker. I mean, you can get a bunker all you want. You can go and hide in a bunker all you want. When Christ comes back, you are going to be found. And you are going to be destroyed. You do you not understand that when Christ comes, you can you ain't gonna you ain't gonna be able to run from no destruction. So forget all about that bunker stuff. I don't care if you got a billion dollars, sixty billion dollars, and you got a whole big bunker. You just wasted your money. Go get a refund. Go ahead, brother. Oh, already. Kanye West was recently interviewed about his plan to run for president. During and during the interview, he claimed that he no longer supports President Donald Trump. It looks like one big mess to me, so the outlet. I don't like that I caught wind that he hid in the bunker, despite his claims that he doesn't support Trump. He took less time going over why he's no longer supporting the MAGA chief and spent more time slamming former Vice President Joe Biden. I'm speaking with experts. I'm going to speak with Jared Krishna, the White House. You know, um, Donald Tr um, Kanye West was a puppet on a string before. He's a puppet on a string now. All he's oh, yeah, doing... All he's doing is diverting the energy into the election. Because really whether you know it or not, he's not running for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Whether you know it or not, he's just diverting the energy. See, the more bad energy that is going to... See, because everything happens spiritually and it manifests itself physically. You know what I'm saying? And these elites know all about bad energy and good energy. The more bad energy you direct towards a person, the more that person wins the game. Look at how many look 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 at what um bad energy that was directed towards fifty cent. Fifty cent won the game. I mean he done put damn murder ink in the grave with all his bad energy to you see? Bad energy, and that's what Kanye, that's what Kanye West is. He just the, diverting the bad energy towards Donald Trump. He's black. A lot of blacks is behind Kanye West. So when he's spitting this, a lot of people are going to look wickedly at Donald Trump. Now I don't don't get me wrong. I don't give a fuck about no Donald Trump or anything in the motherfucking damn White House. I don't give a fuck about none of that bullshit. But I am letting you know the truth. That's all I can spit is the truth. You know what I'm saying? And that's what Kanye West is doing. You know what I'm saying? He wants you to look at Donald Trump in a negative light. And 
by default, Donald Trump wins another term. Anyway, go ahead, Brother Israel. Yes, sir. Mr. Donald Trump and Kanye, you guys really need to cut it. Cut it. Cut it. I'll sneak on X. No, sorry about that. No, actually, no, I didn't. I'm speaking with experts. I'm going to speak with uh, Gary Kushner, the White House, and the fighting that Later adding, I'm not saying Trump in my way. He may be a part of my way. And Joe Biden, like, come on, man, please. You know, Obama's special. Trump's special. We say Kanye West is special. America needs special people that leave. Bill Clinton, special. Joe Biden, not special. Why is up? has less than 30 days to decide whether or not he will officially run for president. But much of the black community is worried that he will split the vote and then Trump another four years. That's the end of the day. Yeah, that's just, that's just energy, you know what I'm saying? And don't say that he's doing this for clout because Kanye West really don't need no damn clout. He, he's really set up. And he's going in, he's in a whole... Kanye West is clout himself. This, he is the clout. Like, there's, once, you, once you say Kanye, you think of, oh, trolling. That's really all you think about. Yeah, you you really you you know what I'm saying. So he he's not he's not trying to get clout. He's just trying to divert the narrative, divert the energy. The energy mm-hmm. go towards Donald Trump. You know what I'm saying. The name, uh, you know how uh, these rappers they they name themselves like uh, Drake calls them himself the Six God. Yes. Right. Kanye could call himself the Clout God. No, I, we can, we can't not give that crown to Kanye West. We got to give that clown to the clout god himself, Little G. Now re- remind you, I got to say Little G because you know what I'm saying. I don't I don't worship none of these different Little G gods. So we got to give that crown to the clout Little G god himself. And you don't know who that little G God is <laughs> of no, clout no. chasing. You know what I'm saying? That li- that's the Kashi sixty nine. You cannot take the crown uh, from him. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I can't even, uh, yeah, you can't take the crown from him. Yeah, you can't take the clout from him. He goes to them the damn Chicago early in the morning talking about I'm here, where y'all at? Uh, <laughs> that is the right there. Yeah, you can't you can't take that you can't take that crown away from him. This oh, this bro. Kanye West, he's just you know what I'm saying, uh um what the one thing is wrong with him, he's you know, he's really sickening and he's really um what he what he done to his mama. You know what I'm saying? That really, you know what I'm saying, it really took him over the edge. You know what I'm saying? He ain't never been the same ever since his mama was killed for his success. He ain't never been the same ever since. Look at him, look at him before his mama died and just look at him after his mama died. It's just it's like he took a damn uh, um, a 360 and went back into the crazy house. You know what I'm saying? He ain't never been the same since. Now he's, you know what I'm saying, he's doing these Sunday tours and these Sunday churches tours. And, you know what I'm saying? And we know, come on, we, come on, let's keep it real, people. We know the church is bullshit. The churches in America is bullshit. And I know a lot of people say, oh, how can you say the church? You, you supposed to be a pastor. You say the church is bullshit. Yes, I'm saying the churches is bullshit. Because if the pastor is not teaching and waking up the 12 tribes of Israel, which is the people that is in the church. So yeah, basically, all the people that is in the church is part of Israel. Except them little white folks. But I'm not prejudiced. I'm just speaking real. 
You know what I'm saying? If you if you ain't waking, if you ain't teaching them the law, if you ain't teaching them Deuteronomy, if you ain't teaching them the homosexuality is a sin, if you ain't teaching them that lesbianism is a sin, if you ain't teaching that and you condoning that, then the churches is a bunch of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What I put it like this to all of you all who's going to church. When you go to church on Sunday, call me up after you get out of church and tell me what have you learned. Guarantee you'll probably say, I forgot. We were doing so much damn tap dancing and, you know what I'm saying, jumping around like, you know what I'm saying, the house of pain and I forgot all about what the pastor was teaching. So for, for Kanye West to be on his Sunday tour and going to different churches and stuff like that, that's, that's buffoonery. You know what I'm saying, we ain't got time for that. We don't have time for that because the days is time winding up. Is either you going to get hit with that mark of the beast or you going to get hit with the mark of Christ. Either or. Which one are you going to get hit with? Is that time for the bullshit? Kanye West is that bullshit. But anyway, this is news. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Luminati News Hour right here on Gospel Talk Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith, and my co-host is Brother Lamik Israel. If you are new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you like this show. Hit that hate button if you hate this show. Hit that comment button if you have a question or comment on this show. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you. Yeah. Uh-huh.